What's the difference between an LLC and a corporation? Today, I'm going to talk about just that. What is the difference and how it matters to you is so critical. I'm going to get to that at the end of our video, but an LLC is very different than a corporation. So specifically, I'm going to talk about the ownership structure. I'm going to talk about how they're managed and the most important, which is my favorite, the tax advantages of each of them. So get a pen and paper. We got a lot to talk about. So let's talk about the ownership structure. If you looked at like Google or Wikipedia, the textbook definition of an LLC is there are members and there is a manager. So when you go to your secretary of state and you sign up for an LLC, you're going to put in a manager and you'll have to actually put in the members. What's their percent of ownership inside the operating agreement, which tells the members how they're going to operate. You're going to talk about who's going to do what. A lot of people forget that. They forget the roles inside of an LLC. You want to talk about how you're going to bring in new members or depart other members. Some extra little ninja ones that I put in are right to correct. So if the member's not doing what they said or they're not behaving, uh, they have a you know one week, two week, 30 day period to correct. Buy sell agreements a lot of times get left out. So if you go to like a simple dot com or one of those you know stock you know 99 cent stores I call them where you just get an LLC and you don't have all the documents and I'm going to show you the document folder in a moment at the end of the video, you're going to be shocked what you don't get if you go cheap on these. The ownership structure is members and managers. The corporation has shareholders. It has a president, it has a vice president, a treasurer, a secretary. You can actually put a board of directors around uh, inside of those structures. A corporation is typically a C-corp. Now there's an S corp and a C corp in the United States. So if you're watching this YouTube from other parts of the world, there's similar structures all over the world. They're just called different words. So like limited proprietary, actually proprietary limited is a different one that they use in Australia, just a partnership, a corporation. So in principle, it's all the same. I'm speaking specifically to the United States and those of you in other countries that want to come here. And I'll just give you the, without advice, I'm going to tell you what 99% of our internationals, they actually get a corporation. Now the ownership structure of a corporation is different. You actually have a lot more resolutions. You have to do voting. You've got to have an annual meeting that you need to go away for. So on an annual basis, instead of going on a vacation, you should go on a business trip because you can go anywhere in the world to take advantage of these shareholder meetings. Now, how are they managed? LLCs are managed by a manager. Now a manager can just be another LLC, right? This is goes to my own nothing in control at all. A lot of our higher net worth clients will have an LLC as the managing member, and then they're a member or a different LLC is the member or their trust is a member. So when, as a manager, you really are just there to make sure that the resolutions get done, they, the minutes get filed. I know a lot of people would say, just cause you have a sole LLC, you don't need to do corporate minutes. That's totally not true. You need to keep corporate resolutions, corporate minutes, documentation, financial records, whether it's an LLC or a corporation. Now let's kind of dive in a little bit more to the management of a C Corp. As I mentioned earlier, if you go on business trips, you'll have shareholder meetings. There's actually shareholder minutes and resolutions that need to be filed in a corporate binder. Again, I'm going to show you what a binder looks like and some of the components of a corporate binder at the end of this video. It's really important that you keep these records and that you issue share certificates. A lot of people skip that. They don't actually issue share certificates. They don't have a corporate seal and they don't use notaries when they do their documents. It's really important. If you want this done right from the ownership structure to how they're managed, it completely has to be papered up. I used to have this t-shirt uh, line that said, do paperwork or be poor. I'd have all sorts of funny isms on him, but this is the paperwork part that you can actually hire people. I have the best guy in the country who can manage all this corporate compliance, all this corporate paperwork, but it has to be done. How the ownership structure is and how the management is done is so critical and the paperwork is. I have one of the best guys in the country that is going to handle all that for you. So at the end of the quiz, I'm going to give you a link to apply for an appointment. It's a no obligation appointment. You can have a conversation about which one is best for you. So before I move on to the tax strategies, I want you to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, comments are how I get feedback. So the more comments that you put in here, the more I know what you're thinking about, the more that I know what your questions are about. But as you subscribe, click that little notification button. So you are here five days a week. Financial literacy is critical. And all I'm asking is 10, 15 minutes a day to pop into your you know, phone and screen, 
listen to a uh, little financial literacy and what you need to be doing if you want to become a millionaire. Now let's talk a little more in the tax strategies, but I'm going to frame it under the own nothing, control everything. So what did Rockefeller mean by that? When you own nothing, that means you as a person own nothing. The corporations, LLCs own it all. So some of you, I know that's a long walk from how you're thinking because you're thinking, well, I'm an employee. I mean, how would I have one? Well, you're going to have to have a side hustle and then a hustle, but we'll talk about that later. You can always go up to my top of my channel and you can search for side hustle and hustle. And I'll tell you all sorts of things. Up. I have videos about that. I have videos about how to quit your job, by the way. But if you don't live corporate life, you can't do the own nothing control at all. So literally you have to think all your money is going to go into a corporation. So when you think about your income, right, we're conditioned that the only way you get money is through a job. Well, that's ridiculous because the way that entrepreneurs make money is they self-generate their cash. So the company makes money as an individual W-2 employee, you get taxed a lot. See, as a W-2 employee, you don't have any tax advantages. You have all the advantages inside an LLC, S Corp, and a C Corp. So how are they taxed differently? An LLC and an S Corp are called what's called a pass-through. So it's going to pass through all of its income, its expenses, its depreciation schedules if you own real estate, gas and oil, aviation. It's going to pass that through so your bottom line. It files taxes. You close books on 1231 in the United States. The C Corp, I always call it the king of the kingdom, is the one that allows you the most benefit. 81,000 pages of tax code. So that that one you can file the tax you're in when you choose or your tax strategist chooses. A lot of times our clients will file in June. June 30th is the C Corp uh, tax filing. So that way you can actually do what's called multiple corporate structures. So again, another video, another YouTube uh, day for that one. That was a big one to talk about. But the tax advantages of a company allow you all this tax code. So you as an individual don't get to write anything up your company does. The big difference between the LLC and the C Corp in a tax strategy is the C Corp because it's a completely independent entity, completely from you. It has uh, currently a 21% flat tax in the United States. Now that always gets adjusted. It's been higher, it's been lower. The best flat tax in the world right now that I'm aware of is in Ireland. There's all sorts of rules out of Puerto Rico if you wanna go there, but that's a whole different conversation as well. Let's stay on, do you have a C Corp? Do you have an LLC? A lot of beginning entrepreneurs start with an LLC. And then as you move into six figures, you add a C Corp to your strategy. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to click on the link below. It's gonna take you to a a financial personality quiz. You're going to take a quiz to see who you are. You're going to be one of four personalities. And at the end of that, I'm going to pop up an application where you can go have a, again, obligation-free appointment with what company do you need? Do, when do you need it? When do you need a company? I say at 18 years old, if you want to live corporate life, you want to be a millionaire, you get an LLC on your 18th birthday. And that's how we begin the games in our shop. Once you fill out the application, we'll send it off to our team. Uh, they'll give you a call and it's a non-obligation conversation about should you be an LLC, should you be at C Corp and when and why. Let's get started today. Stop overpaying taxes.